Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn how to send push notification using Firebase in React Native app. Here's the demo. What are you going to achieve today? I'm just going to reload the app. Just click the button send notification. As you can see, here's my notification. Developers, please subscribe to my channel. In my previous video, I had shown that how to receive push notification using Firebase in React Native. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to send push notification using Firebase, one app to another app or to a specified user. I'm just gonna walk you through the code. And if you guys haven't seen my previous video, I will add them. And I'm just add a button for this button. Import it from React Native. And I'm gonna call a function this dot send notification. this code will send a notification and you can see constant firebase api key so you have to open your firebase console and you have to add your project in case you don't know how to add your project to firebase you can check out my previous video just click on that button project setting and go to cloud messaging yeah, legacy server key just have to copy that and you have to paste here then second constant is on a message here is the interesting thing registration IDs registration IDs so you don't have any registration IDs To get registration IDs, you have to call this in component did mount. If I open my console, and as you can see, user has permission. First, you have to import Firebase from React Native Firebase. First, this code will check <coughs> if the user has allowed for push notification <coughs> or not. This code will check if, if, if it is enabled and you will console user has permission. If not, user don't have permission. Then if user don't allow you have to call this function for again asking the user to allow push not you have to ask the user to allow so this function will again request the user to allow for notification then as you can see I call a function to get item FCM token from async storage if if token is null then you have to get token firebase dot messaging dot get token it will give you a FCM token from firebase as you can see in the console then FCM token from firebase and you can 
save the token to async storage in case you want to use it in multiple pages <coughs> that's why you have to store the token in async storage mm -hmm. and then you will just call the function await async storage dot get item and you will get it will get the it will give you the token this one and you have to I'm just copy this token and paste it here what is that what is does is that when a user register or open your app it will register the user to FCM firmware and it will response back with a token <coughs> so if you want to send notification to a specified user so you have to store this token to your database to send push notification to a specified user then you have to just notification object then you have title and body and private and sound so in the foreground priority content available title is developer body is please subscribe to my channel <coughs> in the authorization you have to add the firebase key then just call this using post method <coughs> to this URL and it will send push notification <coughs> test it out again <coughs> developers please subscribe to my channel <coughs> and as you can see the console success 1 failure 0 the message ID in case you have any problem to understand the code you can comment below I will reply thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel <coughs>